Hey boss. Hey man. What Dwayne? What? Uh that like uh that, that like hippie dude out there. Yeah, I got time, I ain't doing nothing else. I mean I'm just doing payroll. Hey man, uh that hippie dude out there, he that weird weird one who thinks he's in a rave or something. Yeah he ain't he ain't right in the head, man. What can I help you with Dwayne? Hey, uh I got a client out here and uh she's a little bit might upset. Uh, just a tad bit. Wait a second. Are you wearing his glasses? Did you steal them? Might have. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, you guys, I I, I should have had my hand examined hiring both of you. Shampoo text. Well, you know, I thought I'd relax her. I gave her a vape pipe. Uh, she didn't know what that was. I, I demonstrated it for her. She got a little upset. I got some uh, vape juice on her dress. And um, anyway, never mind about all that. Uh, we can talk about that later. Uh, so the weird hippie guy, uh, he gave a uh, you know uh, what you call the massage and shampoo and whatnot and. Uh, I told him, I said, hey man, you ain't doing that right, man. She don't look relaxed. So I told him, look, why don't you like rub her feet and I'll give her a good shampoo. Listen, man, you're, you two are about to drive me nuts. Stop coming up with ideas. We're not going to install a vape station here. It's not happening. We are not going to have mystical shampoos. None of this stuff that you guys are coming up with we're going to do. It's a hair salon, man. This is not a tent of a Burning Man festival, okay? Just, can you guys just act normal for me, please? Just, just one day, man. Just one day I'd like to get through an entire day without one of you flooding the bathroom or, or you spraying people in the face. Uh, no problem, boss. Can you do me a favor? For, for the love of God and everything holy, can you please stop calling me boss? Who's that? You're not in Kevin Joe, man. Hey, uh, I was wondering, uh, get out of my office. You, you mind if I hit the head, boss? Get out! Listen, man. You didn't smoke some fight. In the bush, why would there be two otters? That's just, just shut up. Oh, hey, guys. What's going on? Your favorite hair vlogger? Who else would it be? You're expecting maybe Freddy Krueger? Ah, well it's me. What's up guys? Haven't seen you in a minute. So uh, yeah, in case you didn't know, in case you don't remember, you're a badass. So, what's going on? How's it going good? It's Monday. Late night. What else would I be doing? Doing a video. Yeah, so Sunday we were supposed to have a little episode where we went to some different hair salons uh, in Bel Air Boulevard. We're still gonna do that. Um, we had a little setback, a little scheduling conflict with one of the salons. Uh, one of the bigger ones that I really wanted to showcase. So we're gonna wait. Um, the episode is going to come. So big news. I am representing a company soon. Uh, there's a company who approached me and it's a nationally known product. And so I'm going to be a spokesperson for them. Um, you'll see me in a couple magazines and a couple things coming up. So that's going to be really exciting. I'm, I'm so stoked guys to do this. Uh, it's actually related to hair too, which is really cool. Brand is, it's actually a really well known brand. Uh, and it's not specifically a hair product. It has something to do with hair. Uh, specifically, it helps hair. So it's gonna be really, really cool. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my weekend with you. Uh, I had tons of meetings last week and exciting things happening. It was all very fast. It was like boom, 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 boom. 
I didn't know what was going on. But I'm glad everything worked out and here we are. So another week in review. So how's your week? How's things going for you? You guys doing okay? What's going on? What's current out there? What's the news? Well, the biggest news going on with me right now is the new salon. It's great. I like it. If you guys want to come see me, you build a book online, or you can book with me, or you can book on my website. And don't forget, if you like this video, like it, subscribe, give me a follow, man. Tell me what's up. Please, by all means, join the ride, join the movement. Justin Todd Hunter, or McGregor, he's coming. Oh, yeah. My man Connor, he's coming. I, 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 I couldn't be more proud. Mayweather, Mayweather does not know what's gonna happen. He just doesn't know. He hasn't felt that like fever yet. Do you know what I mean? He hasn't felt the Celtic hit with McGregor's fist. I'm sure it's probably like a pot of gold just a big sack full of it. Just ringing your bell. I can't even imagine. He's gonna see rainbows. But there won't be no pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. Ooh. That should go on the blooper reel. It probably will. So yeah, I mean, this is gonna be extraordinary. It really is. Uh, if you guys haven't heard about it, UFC fight coming up. Conor McGregor against Mayweather. It's a boxer versus a UFC champion. It's going to be crazy. You know, and Mayweather's, you know, big deal is that he's saying that Conor lost to Nate Diaz. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, who cares? You know, Mayweather doesn't even do UFC. He doesn't even know anything about grappling. This is going to be the fight of the century. It's going to be unreal. I, I literally don't even know what to do. I, I'm thinking about doing something special, like, I don't know, I almost thought about ringing out like a VIP box, you know what I mean? Chilled otter juice, I mean the works, man, the works. I might even invite Dwayne, I don't know, just because he cracks everybody up. So you, you never know what could happen, I could end up, you know, at the fight, it could happen. Today, we would try something kind of new not hair related. Take a break for a second. Let's enjoy ourselves, shall we? Let's just take a little, let's just kind of take a break from everything, from hair, from, you know, doing cuts and fades and all that stuff. Let's just take a break. Let's not be a hairdresser today. Let's do something else. You ready? Let's do it. <laughs> that was the best part of the whole thing. Seriously, like, <laughs> he just goes, <laughs> and it's like his own dance, like, <laughs> I love that part. That's my favorite part. Hands down. Seriously, that's just gold, man. Just smacking that butt. It's Mayweather has like literally the ugliest shirt I've ever seen on in my life. I, I I don't even know what that is. It looks like he's wearing a rope chain he stole from my mother's jewelry cabinet, and and he's wearing one of my sister's sweaters. And uh, so I mean, yeah, I'm, this is. <laughs> 
The, my question is, is later when he saw the press conference, did he, did he know, did he realize that guy just like pretended to smack me in my ass? I mean, was he pissed? Did he see it and go, God damn it. <laughs> Regardless, this is going to be the best fight I've ever seen in my life. So, anyway, guys, uh, it's late, and uh, I got to get to bed, and so do you. Tomorrow's a big day, so go to bed.